Mrs. Eva Maran will be speaking on mushrooms and their role in our nutrition. A very special welcome to Her Excellency Mrs. Ketrin Kiwi, the Ambassador of Estonia and India, Mr. Suresh Chukapali, Honorary Consul General of South Korea, and of course to our speaker, Mrs. Eva Maran, for taking the time to be with us today. Just a short brief on Ratambara Wellness. We are a collective of like-minded individuals who are driven by the passion of holistic well-being. We are here together on a mission of achieving human wellness and well-being through a holistic approach. With this in intent, we conduct corporate programs and group retreats for wellness that empower oneself through self-discovery and personal transformation for unlocking one's potential. If you resonate with what we are doing and would like to be part of our community, then please connect with us on the links posted on the chat. May I request everyone to stay muted through the talk but keep their videos on. Today's session will be for 60 minutes. After Mrs. Eva Maran's talk, we will follow it up with a Q&A session. Please, please feel free to post your questions using the chat function. Let me now introduce the speaker for today. Eva Maran started her career in the Estonian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, managing international relations and business delegations for the Estonian Prime Minister's office. Since 2016, she's part owner of Chaga Limited, an innovative company producing organic food supplements. As Estonia has one of the cleanest air and environments in the world, they believe that anything grown there has a lot of nutrition to offer. Based on yeah. a recipe with long family traditions, they have developed powerful and easy to use immunity boosters, one of the main ingredients being chaga mushrooms, often referred to as the king of mushrooms. She now has a greater appreciation for a healthier lifestyle, nutrition and wellness, and will shortly be starting a boutique wellness retreat. Over to you, Mrs. Eva Maran. Hi, very warm greetings from Estonia. Uh, although we are uh, entering to autumn here and uh, and weather is getting a little bit uh, cooler. Um, thank you so much, Pina, for that introduction. Um, uh, thank you for uh, Provin for giving uh, me this uh, opportunity to explain uh, about uh, what I do and a little bit more about the mushroom world, I would say. And uh, welcome all, and nice to see so many of you uh, participating. So, um, as you um, as you heard about uh, my background, uh, then yeah, I've been dealing with international relations, and and now I'm uh, active in in a company uh, that represents the brand uh, Chaga Health. And uh, through that, actually, uh, I have uh, got to know mushroom sector a little bit deeper. I'm not a mycologist, so, um, so I don't know uh, a lot about it in that sense that uh, there is really a lot to discover. And in my presentation, you are going to get a glimpse of it that actually how, uh, how mystical that mushroom world is and, and how, um, how we can uh, get many benefits from that. So, Sorry, a technical question. How are we doing with the presentation? So if we can uh, move on to uh, the next slide, please. Uh, then, uh, first of all, I would uh, talk a little bit about uh, Estonia. I'm sure our, uh, Her Excellency, our ambassador in India has uh, done a very good job already introducing this, but uh, maybe now a little bit more from the ankle of, of our nature and uh, as said also before is that we really have a very clean environment which uh, which is uh, more and more rare in 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 our planet these days and uh, everything that grows here uh, also is very nutritious not only because of the cleanliness but also uh, because uh, of our weather which is can be some in summer plus 30 degrees and in winter minus 30. So everything that grows here has to be really strong. And um, 
and also Estonians uh, are uh, one of the least religious uh, nations in the world, but our religion is really nature. So our forefathers, whenever there was something that needed to be cured, then always we have found help from, uh, from the nature. And this is um, really strongly rooted in us. And with our company also, um, we, ha we are part of um, an associ association called uh, Organic Estonia. So we really strongly believe that uh, Estonia should be branded for its environment as well. Uh, so um, what we are doing is that uh, uh, to gather more and more people who think alike with us and, and really have Estonia um, or 51% of Estonia's land to be actually organically certified. So if we can move on with the next slide, please. So here is some statistics and uh, why we strongly believe in that is also that our land is very rich forest, as you can see from the numbers and also the um, organic farming is growing year by year because that's, that's also where the world goes. Uh, I was just reading an article that um, in Europe, at least, uh, organic farming has become already so uh, cheap that it's quite equal with the conventional one, which is good news because uh, then uh, it's easier to access for people to consume it. And also it's not so uh, difficult anymore to farm because it's so widespread. But before we move on to the next slide, I would like to, uh, you know, as they say, picture says more than a thousand words. I would like to show you a video about our company so you can understand a little bit better uh, what, is, what is the back, background of my knowledge and what we do exactly in our company. So um, can you please now play the video, please? Yes. What's so special about it? Well, everything. As you know, mushroom world is a very interesting world. But center of uh, this world is king of the mushroom, Chaga. Estonia, a land of harsh winters and short summers. Located in the northernmost region of Europe, the land is rich with natural resources, pure water and clean air. While the climate may be tough for some, the conditions do well for Chaga to thrive in like nowhere else. In times of need, Northern Earth have always turned to the sanctuary of the forest and its remedies. Old Estonians knew about the healing properties of chaga and made a brew of it to aid health and boost their immune system. It is all of going back to our roots, and our forefathers knew how to listen to the nature. And when you know how to listen to the nature, you find everything that you are seeking for. Chaga is a medicinal mushroom that grows mostly on birch trees. The secret is to find it first. The best chaga lies deep in the forest, untouched from any pollution or external activity. To this day, chaga is still harvested by traditional methods, search and gather, a task that takes time, effort, and mindfulness. Chaga only grows on a living tree. It is vital not to hurt the host tree. That way the tree lives, the cycle continues, and chaga can be harvested again. Chaga includes more than 200 bioactive components. Pharmaceutical companies are saying whatever do they need for the trucks, they can have it from chaga. Since 2000, the scientific publications on chaga have increased tenfold. Growing research shows its high potential as a natural remedy for various illnesses. Packed with antioxidants and minerals, Chaga is one of the best natural immune system boosters out there. At Chaga Health, we take the best from the past and present. 100-year-old family recipe combined with the latest research to produce an elixir that makes no compromises. Whether it is herbs, berries, shoots, or honey, 
we value the quality and origin of all the ingredients that we use in our products. Fair trade with local producers makes the raw material reliable and ensures the well-being of local communities. More than half of Estonia is covered with forest and has great grounds for chaga farming. At Chaga Health, we have started our own cultivation of the mushroom. We plant the chaga dowels and collect the harvest every five years, caring for the forest like it cares for us. Extracted from the north, Chaga Health. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, now, if we can uh, continue with the next slides. So yeah, the, the mushroom world is really amazingly wide. And uh, when we started our business uh, six years ago, then uh, we were just uh, starting with... Um, uh, oh, okay, I come back to this. These are just uh, two links from where you can get more information about our company, if interested. Uh, but yeah, coming back to the mushroom world, when, when we started well, six years ago, then, uh, then we only knew about the recipe that comes from one of our owner's uh, family and that it has helped them. But over the years, when uh, our business has grown also and uh, we have um, studied much more about mushrooms in general, not only chaga, then we have... Um, uh, have been surprised ourselves as well how how many options there are what uh, what a wide world it is and here are some facts about uh, mushrooms and it's very interesting uh, in my mind that they are not either plants or or animals they are something in between and they have similarities with both of uh, both of th those worlds and as you can see uh, that uh, only very small percentage of all the species of mushrooms have been discovered so far. And, um, and as, you, as you may notice from the video as well, uh, now during the last 10 years, I would say uh, the re scientific research about uh, mushrooms has grown as well, which shows that clearly there is something that can be used for our benefit. And, uh, and quite in many ways, actually. So uh, mushrooms uh, are, are very smart creatures, I would say, uh, as they, uh, they produce digestive enzymes in, into the environment around them. So that means that they actually choose what they eat. And that's why very often all this, um, uh, fungal diseases, what uh, humans may have also, are very difficult to fight just because mushrooms are smart. They, they actually choose what they eat or consume. And, uh, and that explains also, or that is explained by that, that they don't have any photosynthesis, so, so they get their energy from, from the outer environment. And um, and also very interesting is that their, uh, the, how their cellular system is built up is, uh, is more closer to animals. And in, I don't know how much you have um, seen or browsed in the web, but uh, there is also a um, very interesting uh, movie made about mushrooms where they say that mushrooms are the internet underground and trees even communicate through that internet. With each other. Uh, let's move on with the next slide, please. So, um, in uh, in our work, we uh, of course have tried to understand. So, because our practice has been that many of our clients have got uh, remedy from our products, uh, and in in very different uh, with different problems or diseases. So we have started to try to find out also what, what is it and what actually works because, you know, it can work on cancer, it can work on just some allergies, some digestive problems, etc, etc. 
but uh, then we have realized that actually it's not so um, not so easy to understand how it works as mentioned also in the video it was that there are just so many biochemical components there that to find out what work, what kind of combination of them works for what is uh, is a very big and expensive uh, scientific research which we as a small company are not capable to do, but we are happy to see that uh, also big companies see potential there. So um, when we eat uh, mushrooms, then it's not actually very easy to get uh, the nutritious things out from them. And maybe that's why also it has been a little bit, let's say underdeveloped uh, sector in terms of why they haven't been researched so much because maybe the general thought has been that it's just very slow to digest and don't know what we even get from there. And here is a little bit uh, on the screen uh, described how this then, uh, how the digestion pro process of the mushroom works. So you can understand a little bit better how, uh, uh, how it, uh, the mushrooms actually need to be processed before you can get all the good things out of them. If we can move on with the next slide, please. And uh, that's why, again, our ancestors were uh, smart already hundreds of years ago to understand that um, it, uh, you need to extract the good things out from the mushrooms, like with many herbs as well. Um, so there are many methods uh, how to extract. Uh, we in uh, Chaga Health, we use both uh, water and ethanol and uh, also temperature. Uh, but uh, again, through our experience, um, the, the best is combination of many because, for example, water extracts uh, certain components out from the mushroom ethanol and other components, temperature third ones. So it's always uh, good to have many layers of extraction. And that's why um, also uh, this kind of products that have used these methods are much more expensive in the, in the market. Uh, next slide, please. But uh, nevertheless, uh, many mushrooms have been used a long time in our uh, our food and the preparing the food like in bakery products beer wine and probably in everyday life we don't even think that uh, the yeast is actually a mushroom or comes from the same family and uh, what they do then in in these products in bakery and 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 uh, beer and wine is uh, that it's very targeted course of fermentation. So it's controlled uh, how the mushroom uh, acts inside the environment, which is then uh, either beer or wine or, or, some, uh, or some dough. Next slide, please. Then of course, many, many love truffles. There are also people who dislike a lot, but uh, I, I brought out some, um, some examples what are the most uh, widely spread and widely used uh, mushrooms in our cuisine, chanterelles, porcinis. Um, in Estonia right now actually it's a very beautiful time because you can go to the forest and pick many of them. Unfortunately we don't have truffles, they need a little bit warmer cl climate. But, um, but you can see many, uh, many Estonians posting pictures, baskets full of beautiful mushrooms. Um, next slide, please. Uh, and uh, mushrooms in the medicine. So there, there are two kind of lines in that. One is how to uh, fight fungal diseases. Uh, and the, the other uh, line is uh, how to make uh, medicine from the mushrooms. As mentioned also before is that um, the mushroom or, or the fungus have uh, 
have a very smart way how to exist and that's why it's very um, difficult to fight with them if anyone ever had a nail fungus they know how how uh, how long term process it is to get rid of that and uh, but but then again good side is that the more we research how to uh, how the mushrooms actually work the the more we also understand how we can deal with this unpleasant fungus uh, diseases uh, in the future and uh, and the other part uh, is uh, is the medications then uh, and many mushrooms not only chaga but uh, but many others uh, like uh, reishi lion's mane that are right now also very popular in the world and in the wellness sector um, they have um, a lot of biochemical compounds and for example we in chaga health we are um, doing a very interesting research uh, project with the belgium uh, laboratory where we see how we can actually emphasize a growth of certain compounds in the mushroom uh, i mean of course it's a lengthy process but uh, but we are not the only ones for sure we are concentrated more on chaga because uh, this is just how our company story got started. Uh, but um, but we, we believe more uh, to have the remedies through nature. So as our products, for example, are also made mushroom in combination with other herbs, um, instead of uh, you know just taking one part out of it and making a tablet out of it because um, again this tablet will have only one function uh, but uh, the natural way of consuming uh, mushrooms can have so many other uh, positive effects also in your health so uh, so we we uh, go forward with this um, this approach to uh, to stay close to nature and um, as I, I have brought out here a few uh, examples of uh, of the innovation in mushroom world and to uh, to show you just uh, how many different ways it can be uh, used and uh, that it's also uh, becoming a very uh, seriously taking startup uh, part of startup world um, this uh, first company i mentioned here compass pathway who uh, produces um, mushroom uh, uh, based uh, uh, medic medications uh, um, for mental health and um, and they are uh, uh, hallucinative mushrooms but they have made many, uh, a lot of research and, um, and also development that how actually it can help people with depression. And um, as you can see, it's, it's also uh, much appreciated in, in the market in, in terms of how, how valuable this company has, be, has become. Um, the next company, MindCure, is uh, doing basically the same thing uh, producing psychedelic mushroom uh, powders again to fight with depression which is also very wide, widespread unfortunately in in the world today then in in wellness uh, part where you can have it as a food supplement add to your uh, everyday smoothies or juices or or breakfast um, uh, there are actually many players by today who uh, who deal with uh, uh, mushrooms but um, I, I just brought out uh, of course our own company because in in let's say in the in the part where chaga products uh, are then then our products are still uh, very unique especially because we we mix it with different herbs and uh, Four Sigmatic is a Finnish-based uh, company that uh, also deals with uh, many other mushrooms. 
And then I, I, I just love that news about uh, how uh, in F&B sector, uh, one company, Dysfunction, has uh, come out with a gluten-free and vegan beer. So you can just uh, see how far uh, this, uh, um, this, this can go, that how many different things really can be created out of uh, mushrooms. And uh, no, by today's snacks, coffee, tea, meat replacement is, is very, uh, very widespread already. But um, it's, it's not only what we can eat or consume, it's also what, what can be around us from mushrooms. So uh, there are several companies doing uh, already production, um, but also uh, developing further building materials, packaging materials. They have um, even found a replacement for leather, et cetera, et cetera. So it really, really is um, a mystical world to discover and, uh, and uh, there will be many surprising and, and positive news in the future, I'm sure, from, from there. And um, uh, that's, uh, that's what I have uh, prepared as an information. Do you, um, do you have any questions so we can go further as, um, as a nice conversation?